call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the Appleton Oak. This is Diamond Dave Damone. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are all super excited because the debut of Last of Us on HBO Max is gonna be happening right now. Now, full disclosure, I know this was based off a video game, but that's pretty much where my information ends. I know it's post-apocalyptic, and obviously the two cast members, as we've seen from the trailers. Beyond that, I know nothing. I'm in the exact same boat. I have, uh, I've only caught bits of trailers. Uh, never seen anything with the video game, I just played it. So I am coming into this completely blind. The only thing I know is that these two have not stopped <laughs> raving about how excited they are, so. I'm ready to roll. So, folks, I do have some experience with this ep or with the game and the show. Now, granted, I full, full disclosure have not played the game. Reason being, if I were to play the game, I'd be gone for 15 hours nonstop. <laughs> I don't have self control when I get going. That's the reason why I don't have a console. But I have watched numerous gameplays, so I do want to shout out Source Spy 91 for the awesome gameplay that he did for his part one of it also probably right now you're hearing some of the theme music shout out to acoustic trench for his awesome cover and giving us permission to use it for this series his uh link to the video is down in the description if you guys want to check out his stuff and guys check out his whole channel you'll love it his dog maple pretty cool dog. so dog really dog. awesome there i'm going long-winded i'm too damn excited so with that being said let's go Because of air travel. Through the air. Yes. Coughing. Uh, I'm sorry, I meant people on planes. It's a new virus in Madagascar, so it could be in Chicago within a matter of weeks. Oh boy, we're getting the setup. The prospect of a viral pandemic keeps you up at night as well. No. Oh, he was in uh he was in the show Spartacus. You do think microorganisms pose a threat. Oh, in the most dire terms. So fungus. Fungi seem harmless enough. There are some fungi who seek not to kill, but to control. Love that they're they're smoking on air. <laughs> it comes from ergot, a fungus. Psilocybin, also a fungus. Fungi can alter our very minds. There's a fungus that infects insects, gets inside an ant, for example, travels through its circulatory mm. system to the ant's brain and then floods it with hallucinogens, thus bending the ant's mind. Fungus starts to direct the ant's behavior, telling it where to go, what to do, like a puppeteer with a marionette. The fungus needs food to live, so it begins to devour its host, replacing the ant's flesh with its own. But it doesn't let its victim die, no. It, it keeps its puppet alive by preventing decomposition. I'm guessing all of this is very important. It's interesting that it shows how it keeps the organism alive. 94 degrees. And currently there are no reasons for fungi to evolve to be able to withstand higher temperatures. But what if that were to change? The world were to get slightly warmer. Now, there is reason to evolve. One gene mutates, and an Ascomycetia, Candida, Ergot, Cordyceps, Aspergillus, any one of them could become capable of burrowing into our brains and taking control, not of millions of us, but billions of us. And there are no treatments for this, no preventatives, no cures. So okay. if that happens, we lose. <laughs> Wow, getting a little Sorry, dark. I, wanted, I didn't mean to shush you, but I wanted you to hear. Yeah, I mean, what a what a what phenomenal way a fantastic to fantastic open ex explain everything. Yeah, right. Because so often in in shows like this, we're just left to um, it kind of be in the dark and just accept the science for what it is. Oh, there, right. this is how it is, and so here's the situation we're in now. Yeah. Let's go. So the the fact that they just opened with a brief explanation, mm -hmm. like let's get the science of it out of the way. And uh, just saw the, the music, the composer for the game. It's awesome. Oh, so I will say, just because I know you guys haven't seen or played in the game, that was not in the open for part one. So that's brand new. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to do my best to make sure I don't spoil anything for you guys and act like or give you even this, this so information. So the explanation of like the, the potential for this to happen was not in the game. They did it a different way okay. in the okay. game. 
which was yeah. phenomenal too. But this was fantastic. They came, like you guys were saying, right in front of your face mm -hmm. and did it. Yeah, this is. I think that's a really strong opening. Yep. Because now people, nobody can go back and be like, well, how does this work or how does yeah. this work? It's like, oh, it's yeah. fungus. Okay, so 2003. I, I got to gotta keep my mouth shut on this because I got to – This guy is – I've never seen him like He's this. He's like, not since uh, Maverick. Alarm. Oh, it's directed by Craig on the first one. Nice. I was going to make you birthday pancakes. Nice. Vitamin C. Is there enough for Uncle Tommy? In the water, man. Still alive, you old f <laughs> <laughs> Concrete guy's gonna be there? Yeah, they said maybe. Maybe. We could work a double. Literally? Today? Oh, no, I'd be done by nine. By nine, right? I'll bring back a cake. I promise. All right. Finish up quick, we'll drop you off. What was that? He had like an MP3 player? No, it's an old phone from 03. Oh, it just had the cord and stuff on it. Oh, don't what? run your finger there. Do that. Oh, I was thinking that for. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Connie was asking after you. Said you hadn't been over in a while. I could come by after school a little bit. Uh, she'll take what you got. You know what? We got to run, but Sarah will be by later. She'll stay as long as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Throw her right under the bus. Yep. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Combat veteran. Yeah, they didn't show that for no reason. Guy's gonna have some skills. Verb and now. Try to kiss. Where at <laughs> Somebody's trying to get her attention. Yep. Yep. Here I was trying to look at what she was writing. Yep. <laughs> She's got her English notes. <laughs> oh, it's oh, oh, the bracelet. Never mind. You remember those back in the day? Homework is due. End of class tomorrow. This is always so nerve wracking, like when they're just setting up. The, the the scenario before like the, the, the thing the thing happens it's yep. always so nerve wracking <laughs> yeah like where's everybody gonna be yeah you know like, is she gonna be stuck on a bus and then yeah dad and uncle have to come find her it's oh it's so nerve wracking so for all those that are the hardcore gamers watching this I'm really interested at this point to see what you all think so please at least leave some comments because I'll be chatting with you got here a couple of lunch trucks all right Lone Star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, oh, we had that exact, I think we had that exact same wood clock growing up. Drop a comment <laughs> if your parents or grandparents had a wood clock. It's a spring. I'll do it right now. Oh, I'm fixing the watch for dad. Yeah, because he reached down for his watch and he didn't have it. Yeah, she's, she's not. She's fixing it, it for she's him. He's using his money to fix his watch. I'm trying to okay. play with my notes. Something, <laughs> something's going on. Yeah, we, we got, got the fire trucks and, and SWAT. SWAT. Oh. Done for today. Oh, here we go. I'm very sorry. He cannot finish. I'm already finished. He works fast. Uh, few things give me anxiety like like this does the the lead up to what happened. Yep. Because you know this is the last time we're gonna feel this way. You yeah. can only do the start once. Hey, is everything okay? Like. On the news, just a lot of police and stuff on the road today. Well, that's true every day, isn't it? I was thinking we'd make some cookies. Chocolate chip? Raisin. Ugh. Ah. Oh, what a disappointment. <laughs> you always get so excited, like, chocolate <laughs> chip, here we go. No oatmeal raisin. Especially like, when it's from grandma, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, God, I, God, I feel like I'm going to get a jump scare with grandma <laughs> or something. You'll be good. <clears throat> oh, something in the TV reflection. Oh. There's a way they're shooting grandma in the background. Oh, she having spasms? Oh, God. I told oh, you they were the going to open. I love how it's oh, blurred, God. too. And it's not, it's oh, not it's creepy. Hey, Mrs. Adler, could I borrow this? Yeah, sure. It's one of Danny's. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm on edge <laughs> right now. Is grandma going to get up out of the chair? No, now she's normal. Oh, the dog. The dog. The dog knows there's something wrong. The dog's name was uh, Mercy, so shout out to Z Nation. Oh, boy. Now we got the oh, uh, fighter jet. 35s or whatnot. That's not a good sign. Low flying fighter jets. Oh, it's always the news in the background. Yes. I love how they had that solo you can mm. barely you hear. You have to have subtitles on with so many of these shows to catch the details. 
Where's the cake? <laughs> Come on, man. I'll get this one tomorrow. You don't get your present. You got me a present? Wow. Fixed it for you. Did you? What? I don't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get the money for this? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than what I do. And you were never going to do it for yourself, so. Thank you. Oh, there's one more. Barred from the Adlers. Oh, this is the one with the deleted scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a, a cheesy shoot 'em up type movie. Oh, you're worse than the answer watching Airbender. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying to contain. <clears throat> Joel, it's me. Yeah. But I'm in jail. What's my fault this time? It's Friday. You don't get me out tonight. I'm in here all weekend. Which jail? Travis County. <laughs> the uh, the Tommy that called him was that the guy from breakfast this morning? I didn't. I'm not. I'm terrible. Names. Tommy's his brother. <clears throat> okay. So that was his brother from this morning. Yep. Okay. Uh, God. The way they're just shooting this. Uh oh, we're losing power. No, there's explosions. Oh yeah, gunfire. Dad. Oh, that's not good. Enforcement and emergency services are in the area. Oh, there's the dog. What are you doing out here, boy? Well, border collies are smart. The smartest dogs on the planet. Now look at that chopper. Oof. So Chinook. Yep. Oh no no no! Mm -hmm. Dog didn't want to go home. I wonder if it's gonna growl at her. Oh no! It's like, ah, I'm good out job, here. Mercy. Good job, Mercy. Mrs. Adler. Ah, when, no, the, when the no, door's cracked open, no, it's always bad Sarah. News. Please turn around. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's, uh... oh. oh. Ooh, that's bad. Oh. Oh, wow. What is that? Oh, Grandma's. It's like sucking the brains or blood out? What's it doing? Oh, there's the spores. I think you guys can now piece what yeah. you saw in the intro to this now. <clears throat> we got to oh, run! It's, it's moving. Wait, they run? So this is stage one called Runner. Get the truck right now. Whoa! Tommy! There you go. Oh. Baby, I'm sorry. Joel, we got to go. Hey, let's go. Come on. Oh, oh this is... Oh, there's more. Oh, look at him. There's more runners. No, don't check on him. What are oh. they? Oh. They're saying it's a virus, some kind of parasite. Why did things blow up? No cell phone, no radio. How do you know we're not sick? They're saying it's mostly people in the city. Mm, it would spread easily in the city. Makes sense. The others would take Nana into the city, to the hospital for stuff. They would. That's probably why. We're fine, trust me. We got a kid, Joe. so do we. Keep driving. Oh, they got a kid. I, okay, I would have stopped for the kid. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you remember Black Summer? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. I mean, I don't blame oh, Joel there. And so we have our first, like, moral uh, conundrum yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Wow, they didn't, they didn't take long. Oh, no. Yeah, highways are going to be blocked, man. You ain't getting nowhere on those roads. Cut across and pick up on the, on the west side. Yeah, 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 yeah. West, west, all right. Right, hang on. You're throwing four high. Yep. Oh. 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 Shit. For them, that's the highway we're trying to get to. They don't have anything on them, like uh, nothing. Oh. oh, we got a commercial oh. airliner. Oh. Look at all, oh, no. all of them. No, no, no. They're all trying to land on the roads or something, I bet, because the airport's blocked. I love this camera angle, by the way. I Gotta get that in. Oh wow, this is super intense. Yeah. Tell me, I can't stop you. I can't drive through them. Are you serious? Just keep going. People are gonna start. You're getting. Go, go, find him, Dad. Move. Oh, oh my God. God. Dude. Oh, oh my that was a chunk of the plane. What? That's. Oh wow. Folks, I'm really interested to see what you think about that. Stay right there, don't move. Oh, 
Oh man, they're just feasting. Come here, come here. Oh, they did flip over. Okay. We gotta get off the ship. Whoa! Jesus. Get her out of here, Joe. Go. Can you run? No. You don't look anywhere else. Oh my God, oh. dude! I can't remember the last oh. time a TV show gave me this kind of anxiety. Mm -hmm. Oh, that Spotty snap gun. up. And then the oh, snap of the neck. The, the twitch. The twitch. Oh, Jesus, they oh, run. It's right there. Jesus. So they don't run with a lot of control. No. Zero control. Oh, it's Tommy. Don't move. My daughter's hurt. Her ankle. Stop right there. We're not sick. I got two civilians by the river. One of them injured. Sorry, repeat. Hey, no one told you to move. Oh, I bet they're giving them orders to delete them. Yes, sir. Yep. We are not sick! What just happened? Who... Did he get hit? I'm sorry. <laughs> Gotta be Tommy, right? That sounded like a bolt action, yep. The old oblique <laughs> shot. It's the oblique. No, 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 no. She got hit? You're okay, move your hand, baby. Oh, no. What? How is... I know, baby, I know, I know, I know, I know. Come on, baby. You're okay. You're okay. I know, I know, I know, I know, baby, I know, I know. Baby, baby, listen to me. I gotta get you up, okay? I gotta get you up. All right? You come on. Can't even go to a hospital right now. Tommy, help me! Joe, come on, get up. He knows, on, he's, he's... Oh, my gosh. You know, from the trailers and everything, I thought these two would be a team, like, doing what they do. Sucks. 20-year jump? <sighs> Knew it was coming, and it still sucks. What? A 20... Is that duct tape on his shoes? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Destroyed. Is there a wall around? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like, there's a wall around a yeah. main part of the city. God, it reminds me of uh, the Divergent movies mm. where they put the wall around the city in Chicago. I got to say, so far from the game to the to the TV adaptation so far, I'm really impressed. I know some are probably not going to be, but I'm real curious to hear everyone's thoughts. What is that? The United States? Uh, I couldn't see it. Was that an Air Force? Time to full infection. Oh, Third speech, so mood change. Right foot, 12 to 24 hours. We don't want you falling out of the chair. What's your name? Are you alone? How did you get this? Oh, they gotta test them. Oh, it's red. Red is red bad, or is that just the screen color? What if I told you that after we gave you some medicine, we're gonna find you your favorite food to eat, and then we'll get you some new clothes and toys, as many as you want to play with. She's just giving yeah. him happy thoughts before it's done, isn't she? It's just a little needle. You're safe. I think that Unreal. was comfort talk is what yeah, that was. Yeah, I think you're right. Unreal. Yep. Oh, I was. Man. Oh. You got anything else? Tomorrow we got street sweeping or sewer maintenance. Which pays more? That'd be the one with the shit. <laughs> 6 p.m. Yeah. to 6 a.m. I wonder if it's a deal where, like, if you get shoelaces, the ration cards for shoelaces. Oh, this be some kind of rebellion. This looked like a dragonfly almost, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Come on. You're short five. Food. Cigarettes. Mm hmm. Oxy? Hydro. It's real. It's from Atlanta. I just got a factory down there in the QZ. Supposedly only makes two things. Pills and bullets. You want them or not? I need the bag back. Jeez. He it's, it's, yeah, needs a yeah, bag. We're done with the vehicle. What's that? Set. So I have to get one last guy in the depot to buy in. Those trucks are shit heaped for a reason. And they don't have any batteries. 200 for the other guys. 200 for you. Deal. 
Stay off the streets for the next few nights. Fireflies been blowing shit up all week. Fireflies. Those guys okay, got shot this morning. Bosses got us working doubles. Guys are jumpy and tired. It's easy to make a mistake in the dark. That's a good heads up. Mm -hmm. Take it. What do you want me to say, Tess? I'm not asking you to say anything. It's not like I planned ripping you off. How about we just let oh. it go? Oh, she has got a shiner. What do you want? I want you to forget this ever happened. It's just a truck battery. I paid you for it, you sold it to someone else, and you spent my money. I mean, you think I've never done shit like that? My guys do up. Yeah, so discipline them. What about your guy? The key answers to me. I'll tell him that I got jumped by some guys. So are we good? Blown away by this. Yeah. Oh! 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 You said blown away, all right? I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did not know that was coming. Timing. Oh, man. Oh, wow. So is that the work of the fireflies? Wow, this is definitely different. Oh, they must uh, have had an IED. They, they, yeah, they took out a, a Humvee. Oh, shit. Free motion, no, They're shooting. On your knees. Oh, no, I'm not a fucking... I'm not a... I'm not a firefly. She's not. <laughs> oh, what an intro to Tess. Yes! One, two, three, four. Slowly and clearly. Seven, eight, you. <laughs> <laughs> State your name, slowly. Veronica. Hey, people are gonna come looking for me. Whoa. I'm oh, not supposed there. to be here! So she must be somebody important with yeah. Fedra if the Firefly okay. folks have her. 73k Orlando out. Nothing? Is there any chance it's coming in at night? You're sleeping, you miss it? If Tommy responded, we'd know. They gave him your message. They haven't seen or heard from him since. It hasn't been that long. It's been three weeks. It's never taken him more than a day to respond. Show me where the tower is. Joel, it's in Wyoming. There are worse things than infected out there. I hear everything on this. There are raiders. There are slavers. But you're sure Tommy's okay? Cody Tower. I don't know exactly. Oh, it's getting it's intense. Raiders and slavers. Uh, oh, celery. That's some spores or fungus in the dust there, wasn't it? Kind of looked like it. I mean, <laughs> track. There's something to be said, though, for trying the Great Lakes, though, don't you think? I mean, I know you're exposed, but. No, it's oh, not. His watch is broke. Still wears Still got it, it though. 20 years later. Mm -hmm. Is that. That's Tess. Is that Tess? Tess that we just saw. I got jumped. Just a couple teenagers. Come on, you know these guys born after the outbreak? It's a miracle you're alive. These aren't new. I was in federal lockup all day. The guys who jumped me were with Robert. He sold on battery to someone else. Oh, they need a battery for the truck. Yep. I need the battery, Tess. If I don't get to Tommy soon, he's going to die out there. Robert is terrified of you. Who'd he sell it to? Don't know. Well, where is he? We're going to find out quietly. So let's go hunt that mother f down. Let's go, Tess! <laughs> it's her. The team in place is Southeast 3. We've been blowing up meaningless Fedra targets spread out all over the QZ. What's the point of this? My answer is to follow f***ing orders. You two, go to Southeast 3, now. Marlene, we are in a war against a military dictatorship to restore democracy and freedom. Does that sound about right? Are the Fireflies beating Fedor anywhere? Rebellion takes time. Oh, they've been fighting the whole time. Yeah. Wow. Tonight, every Firefly in Boston is going to gather in this building, and we are going to leave the QZ. We're taking that random girl locked in that room west. Is this real? I believe it is. We'll get her where she needs to go. So there must be some sort of reward for if we'll get that, her where that, she needs to go. She need okay. Or is this a story where it's like one person who's a cure or something like that? Oh yeah, she could be like maybe she's immune or oh because they're doing the tests on her and stuff like that. Yeah. Maybe they got a doctor out in Salem or something. Well, I mean it cost us a couple of cards, but uh, we got him. He's supposedly taking the battery to a red tagged building. But get this. I mean, we can take the subway tunnel under Haymarket, get into the building from below, and take Robert by surprise. Love it. Oh. You're not scared. How about we start with thank you? For what? For saving your life? 
I am the one who told him not to shoot you, if you recall. Mm. Mm. They had stuff around the cuffs to make sure it doesn't hurt her, so they definitely care about who this person is. So can I go? No. You that anxious to be a soldier? You think I chose that place? They put me there when I was a baby. It's for orphans. They didn't put you there. I did. Ellie. My name is Marlene. I'm the leader of the Fireflies in the Boston QZ. Why would you let me go? Because you have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined. Yep, she's the cure. He's here. Five minutes. What I'm about to tell you cannot be repeated to anyone. Because if you do, you will die. Bolt cutters. Extra handy to have. Very important to In have. Of, well, this. <laughs> oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, this one's done. What the? Think he wasn't down here last time? Maybe down here oh. is where he was infected. So if the fungus can't attach to a human, it just spreads out like that. Yeah, just like it's trying to find another host and reaching out, but there's nothing there. Yeah. You smell that? Gunpowder. Oh, that's what's in front of the door. Easy, Tess. Oh, hey, that's our guy. There's the battery. The battery. Why would they leave that though? This feels the like a trap. No good. Yeah, look at that oh, battery. That's... It's very corroded. Yep. Oh, I just realized where we're at. Did you guys see the the lady that was right down by Joel there? You guys don't recognize her yet? Oh, or they're in the same building. Oh! <laughs> Joel? Marlene? So this is who Robert screwed us over with? What do you need a car battery for? Don't. Not at her. Point at me. And to answer your question, I need it for a better reason than you do. No offense, but Tommy's just one man. You're the cause of it. You turned my own brother against me. We were going to move Ellie out of the zone tonight. You're going to do it. The hell I'm not we going are. with them. Let me take her. Tess, we don't smuggle people. Sorry. But now I don't have a truck. I don't have a squadron. Fedra's five minutes away. What I do have is you. You get her there safely, and they'll give you what you need. I swear. You trust her? No, me neither. But she seems desperate. Firefly vehicle usually means repurpose Fedra stuff. So better than decent chance making it to Tommy in one of those. Y'all talk it through, but please remember that I'm bleeding out. Okay, here's the deal. We get her to your crew at the state house. But before we hand her over, they give us everything that we want. If not, we kill her there and then. Deal. Remember what I told you? Now go get your backpack. Let's go. Don't f*** this up. Can I get a note about everything I'm going to get for this? Should I just see Ricky Astley's face? <laughs> I think we all just got Rick rolled. <laughs> so who's Bill and Frank? The radio is a smuggling code, right? 60s song, they don't have anything new. 70s, they got new stuff. What's 80s? Awesome. Your watch is broken. Ooh. I've never been on the other side of the wall. So what's the deal with you anyway? You some kind of big wigs daughter or something? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Oh, well, the radio came on when you were sleeping. They kept saying, like, like wake me up before you <laughs> go. <laughs> 80s. Gotcha. 80s means trouble. Ah, genius. <laughs> tricked her. Listen. Tricked them. The spot under Lancaster looks good. <laughs> you got a jacket <laughs> in your pack? Yeah. Okay, get it. It's time to go. I was going to say sewers. Andy Dufresne. Dave's never seen Shawshank. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> Wasn't trying to know so. I just had no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, duck. Oh. Stay, stay low. <laughs> Man, they are patrolling heavy yeah. helicopters at night. I mean, where are they getting the fuel from? There's got to be some something still going. I wonder if they will give us a little insight to like how they get what they need to get yeah. to keep uh, like the patrolling and all that mm -hmm. a little bit more functional. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it, so they can stay in power. Yeah, because it's been 20 years. Don't move. Okay, let's talk this out. Turn around. I said, stay the f home. Get on your knees. You let us do this run. We'll split the cards with you. Hands on your head. What's she going to show up as? Unauthorized uh, exit. 
I'll hang you for that. Fine, everything off of this run, and half off on all of the pills. Half off? All off. <laughs> oh, I knew she was gonna use it. We can fix this. Flashbacks. Whoa. Oh yeah, just like oh, before. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I, oh, I thought he was gonna do it. Oh. Yeah, now he's all oh, he sees. He is, is toast. Past. He is dog oh, shoes. Ain't hey, nothing left. Like the detail in the hand, it looks swollen too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his bones would be beat up pretty bad. No, no, I'm not sick. No! I am not sick. No! I'm just three weeks old. Nobody lasts more than a day. Oh, she is the cure. At least take the radio. Uh, there you go. I was gonna say, take out that light. I don't think that's what he, uh... Well, no, I'm saying <laughs> oh, take yeah, out the yeah, light yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Just makes you obvious. <clears throat> uh, thank you for showing him taking... Grabbing supplies. Yes. Supplies <laughs> also. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Contamination. It's always crazy when, you know, in a, in a, cra a situation like this to think like somebody wouldn't take... As much as you as could. Much as you could. A little Depeche mode. Means there's trouble. 80s tunes. Yep. Gosh, guys, uh, what an episode. That's not the whole episode. Yeah, this is the end right here. I mean, no. Yeah, it's 930. <laughs> what? That's like the fastest hour and a half ever. Oh. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah. Oh, that was like, dude, it felt like that 10 was minutes. Officially the fastest. <laughs> Come on, nine thirty. What? Wow. Now, HBO does previews. Do you guys want to see? No, the I don't want to see the previews. No, no, no. I don't want to see any previews. No, no, no. I don't no, want no, nothing. No, okay. no previews. No. Nope. All nothing. right, we'll pause right there, and we can get right into <laughs> it. Was... Quinn, why don't you start her off? <laughs> so first off, that I know, Oak. I think you and I might have said it when we were watching something it was the fastest. You know, the time flew by. Wow. This one, I've never had a show fly by this fast. And, you know, I made a couple of notes throughout this because I thought it was pretty important. And it, just the small details are what I, <clears throat> what I really liked. I liked how everybody looked really miserable and, and dirty and, and times looked really hard. You know, uh, we saw, as I'm sure many of you did later on in Seasons of the Walking Dead, everybody's showered and clean and the makeup's perfect. It's like, no, this is a post-apocalyptic world. It's not romanticized. It, it reminded me a little bit of The Road and how things were, were incredibly desperate and just bad situations. Nothing was good. I did like how they kind of have Joe uh, right in the middle uh, between these two forces, um, kind of struggling both the Fedra and the Fireflies. He's kind of caught in the middle between that, kind of like the old the old Clint Eastwood uh, westerns, where he's the he's the man for hire, so to speak. And now we see the Fireflies trying to use him to complete their mission. So that was really interesting. Um, again the importance of using a ham radio with signals i really liked that kind of a nice clue that again people would do i felt there was a lot of accuracies here uh, on how people would communicate you might only have one person that knows how to use a ham radio so they'll be sending messages like that and uh you know if i guess if i can just kind of hit on one thing it felt very realistic as far as what would happen in this situation and I can't gloss over the fact that they opened super big with losing Joe's child right in the beginning. Did not see that coming. I thought they were going to be a pair kind of like taking on this new world together. And it, again, I, I try not to make comparisons to The Walking Dead, right? But you're almost kind of compelled to because that was the biggest show for so many years that had a situation similar to this. So that series the walking dead started out really big with uh, a scene with rick grimes at the gas station and the little girl you guys know what i mean in this one they started off with something way more powerful way more gut-wrenching that just grabbed a hold of you and didn't let go this series is fantastic i can't wait to dive more into it um i got a few other notes but i'm gonna let these guys roll because it was outstanding yeah this this first episode i think kicked from just from the get-go, like, 
one of the big questions that I think we had with 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 Walking Dead and with other zombie type TV shows, and I'm not going to call this that, so I'm just using it as, as an example. Apocalypse, yeah. But, you know, post apocalyptic is we're always left like, oh well, how is this possible? Like in Walking Dead, there was people. I mean, there's a million you know YouTube videos about well, if in, uh, under freezing temperatures, even if there was still tissue there, it would freeze over and whatever. And I mean, so the fact that they started off with the science of it and said yes. it's not bacterial, it's not viral, it's fungal, and then they went into, well, if the earth warmed up a little bit, mm -hmm. and here we are, um, you know, 70 years later, or no, not 70 years, the 60s to 68 current time. to current. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, I thought that was really neat. So right out of the get go, they're like, here's some answers. But as we go forward, I was like, well, how is it, is it spread? Because it looked like when it was at grandma's house, it was like, on Something the neck, but the on the mouth. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, it, it's just, so it, it's very curious. And they didn't give us a clear answer on that, which I'm sure they will, how it spreads and, and more information about that. But it also, it felt like a cool mashup of a lot of different, mm. like, post-apocalyptic like in the book of eli one of my favorite movies you know you know denzel washington is trading hand wipes and like oh wow we haven't seen this in a while and yeah. here joe's like hey i need my bag back so it gives you a feel for how desperate times are when somebody's like hey i need i need my baggie back <laughs> right um the whole city being blocked off gave me very like maze runner divergent type vibes um you know and i know those aren't the favorites of some people so it's not a comparison but it did it did feel like you know it felt like kind of a mix of all our favorite post-apocalyptic stuff other than maybe you know mad mac yeah i, did, I didn't get any i haven't mad seen mac a car vibes. yet so we'll see right <laughs> um, but i thought they did a really good job with this kept us yeah. on the edge of their seats a very good first episode kind of laying out um, you know, this scenario, you have the people who are the enforcers and of course that you're your quote unquote freedom fighters. You have uh, a young woman who I think we can all assume at this point is um, she's immune to whatever sort of, you know, uh, you know, damage to the body that the, the, the fungal fungus does. And so it's very important to get her somewhere. And man, this was the fastest hour and a half. I mean, this is like a, the length of a feature film. And yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> like wait what that's yeah. it so uh acting was phenomenal the mm -hmm. sets everything um and, and off to a really solid start as far as the storyline so i am super excited about the next one yeah real quick oak i did want to comment on that you said that the details of the sets and the makeup and the clothing was all super impressive and you knew that because it had hbo behind it who doesn't do anything second no. rate they were going to deliver and it was impressive you know uh naughty dog who is uh, you guys already know this naughty dog the company of uh i have no idea so naughty, naughty, dog, dog. <laughs> naughty dog's the company uh with uh last of us okay well, for the game. you all will, probably there's probably it easily i'll just say this to kind of generalize it easily the top top five game ever to be produced is the last of us with this the creator now i'm kind of saying this more for you because people who are already watching this just already or, or already know this okay so neil is the writer creator of last of us he is also the writer for this okay so the person oh. who wrote the video the story behind the video game is, is the one writer. who's writing the adaptation yes. to television yep. and that's really that's important huge. because a lot of times yeah. when the the person who writes the movie is not the same person yeah. who created the <laughs> who created the source material and that can create a giant gap yeah. in your storyline yep so i'm hoping that's not too, it's not a spoiler because they've been promoting and pushing it craig i forgot his last name already but craig is the writer for chernobyl Okay, so which I haven't seen yet. I heard it's the like yeah. a lot of people say it's the best six episodes you'll ever see. It's it, it, I I did watch it. It was absolutely brilliant. I have absolutely seen it, but brilliant. Again, it's HBO. They don't. It was hardly make brilliant. Mistakes. So my point that I'm trying to get here, so that way you two know now, is I'm after seeing this episode, I'm not afraid of the the game ad, ad adaptation to or the game to the adaptation mm -hmm. to HBO Max here. I thought what they did here was absolutely fantastic. I know some of the, the hardcore gamers and some of the, maybe the hard, hardcore peeps may not like some stuff that was done in here. If you don't, I'd love to see your perspective of why. Uh, but for me, from what I've seen in this was absolutely fantastic. Again, with those two writing this first season, 
I have no problems or no fears moving forward after this episode. I want to call out a little bit here because uh, I know you know, but these guys may not. <clears throat> that 1968 open, though, the cold open to this episode, that was not in the game. So okay. it was awesome to see how they did that and put it here like they did it in the episode. Now, what they did was in the game, they took after the, the 15 minutes of the craziness where we saw with Joel and Sarah there, they did a musical uh, intro where the background was giving you all the detail oh, okay. of the fungi and, where, okay. you know, the, the time capsule. Uh, so I thought that was absolutely awesome that they did that here for this. I hope, again, I don't think this is a spoiler, but I'm going to say it anyway. Did you guys pay attention to the watch? As far as not what time it was. That Okay, no, not a problem. But so the, the funny thing with the watch in the game, or I'll just say within the TV series here. So he Joel, in the game, loses his job on that day. So here, it looks like he's working. Mm -hmm. So not only was it his birthday, she fixes the watch. The unfortunate events happen. Yeah. And they, you guys said it, I think, two or three times in there. There's two or three times where you guys mentioned the watch. He is stuck looking at the time she lost her life for the, as long as he's wearing that watch. Oh, yeah, because that's when the watch got broken is when that happened. Yeah, crazy, huh? Oh. Um, again, now the intro uh, for the buildup uh, with... Uh, the, how they try to get you uh, the, the character development of Sarah how they wanted to, to get you latched on for the big event that happened there I thought was great because in the game they just it's happening like it's already late at night mm. stuff's happening so the, the intro that they did for Tommy I thought was great uh, I can't read my writing there <laughs> can't read that we've all been uh, there so avoid oh he's hyper alright guys yeah I was going to town on this uh, so the voice in the truck to me, and I, I don't know about any of you gamers out there, but to me, hearing that when they were showing Sarah and the truck was going and all that shit was going wild, mm -hmm. it sounded like they were trying to get the game voiceover. So I thought that was cool. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, if the guy who made the game is involved in the movie, I almost think you have to give the show leeway because if he's the guy doing it, he did it for a reason. So if they dropped in the 1968 start, maybe he thought, well, maybe I should have done this for whatever reason, maybe to show that the government knew since back then, blah, 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 you know? Yeah, and- Something to consider. Yes, exactly. So also with the, the accident leading up to the truck being flipped. Now in the game, which you all know, this is again for you guys, the- uh, the way they get in that position in the game is a, another vehicle comes and boom, smokes okay. them. Here, I thought it was actually kind of unique and different where it was the actual plane yeah, crash. Yeah, the planes were wild that in the was beginning. amazing to see. Um, and again, the intro to Tess, different. I mean, to me, it was different, mm -hmm. uh, but I enjoyed it. This whole thing, this whole, again, this whole episode, I feel like I'm just doing run-ons here, but again, loved this first episode. Mm -hmm. Really, really I, this is the 18th time I'm saying it. Really curious to what you all think about this one, especially you hardcore gamers, because I think this is going to be a home run. We got eight more episodes left. I'm blown away. And ho apologies for early on with the all giddiness. I was just trying to hold back as much as I could so I wouldn't spoil these guys in a lot of shit. You know what's an interesting thing for me, and 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 I think you guys can maybe relate a little bit. Anytime now, um, so and, and you guys have heard me mention this in the channel. So I have a son who's a little over two years old. Anytime now you watch situations like this, you immediately as a parent, you think like, how would I handle things with like my family? You know, because yeah. like when you're family, you know, when you're when you're like, like single and if you have like some sort of bug out plan or something like that and something like this were to happen, you can picture I'm going to go here, I'm going to here. And even if you're single, look, you probably have extended family that you wouldn't just want to or friends. You yeah. wouldn't want to bail on. And um, uh. Uh, uh, the gentleman who um, has the the YouTube channel Warrior Poet Society, great guy. He did a he did a great episode on why not to actually bug out in these circumstances. Yeah. As far <laughs> as like the don't, clogged highways, don't just leave the nowhere. clogged highways. Yep. You're likely to have friends and family that are close mm -hmm. to you. You're probably safer staying within <laughs> your own house than you are being out on the road. Yep. So uh, that whole thing. But it's interesting when you uh, again when you watch that beginning. 
like as somebody who's you know into shows like this it sucks you in so much because it's like what would i do exactly that's what exactly I what, what i was I thinking what would i do yep. and, and when you have when you have kids it's like yep. oh my god what would i do with my kids like that scene on the highway that was they have a kid intense. we have a kid yep. too and it's like oh my god like we learned like oh like how, what would you do in yeah. that situation and it's it's so like those first 20 minutes of setting it up were so intense yeah. i just i was like I know the term edgier seat is so like overused, yeah. but man, they just sucked you right in. Yeah, the anxiety it was of, of the anxiety of when was it gonna happen? When was it gonna start? And then, you know, then it eventually did and things are moving. And it's funny you say that, Oak, because the, the one stupid thing that I noticed was when Joe was walking up the steps and he was in his, you know, construction boots, I was like, well, at least he's got some sturdy footwear for the apocalypse. He's not, you know, in a pair of Crocs. So, like, yeah, all that little stuff. And, like, we pointed out, oh, when they took out the uh, the guard, oh, I hope he grabs some of his stuff or at least what he can while they're trying to get out of there because of limited time. And they did. So, you know, look, that survival apocalypse stuff is all over YouTube and the Internet. So it's not hard to kind of go down a rabbit hole some night and you get sucked into it and then you find yourself watching these shows like oh i do this i do that blah 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 i, I like yeah. it, in any situation like this you would be taking somebody's supplies and their gear yeah and anytime i watch a show or a movie or anything where it's like they just leave it's like no you 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 almost lose your audience right then yeah, and there like, well they wouldn't do that yeah like yeah. okay so the fact that he 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 you know he grabbed some of his gear um i was like okay yeah adds to the realism so much yeah. detail and i kind of catch myself wondering what could it what could have been for the walking dead on hbo mm -hmm. i know i'm not trying to compare the two but it is apocalypse yeah now after seeing what hbo did for this show <clears throat> i can't help but think if hbo only gave frank and those guys a chance mm -hmm. what could have been but again you could play that hindsight all day long but it's just a thought now. yeah i mean and that's a very f fair comparison i'll just wrap up my last thing here because i think it will get compared to the walking dead whether rightfully circles. or not circles. because mm -hmm. that show was the benchmark for this style of television show so i think it will get compared but man you compare like the first six episodes budget wise to what we just saw here like it blows it out of the water it's like eight bit video games to modern the one thing games. that i do that i'm curious about and i know this wrap up's going a little long but this is, this is a crazy show is th throughout the the series of walking dead while we knew that the, the zombies were the, the the catalyst to you know the post-apocalyptic situation but they very much kept them an active part and an ongoing um threat mm -hmm. throughout the entire series now it feels like towards the end of this episode it's more like Obviously, the virus is still there. Or the, the, the fungal infection is still mm -hmm. there because they're still testing people. Yep. But I'm cur curious, excuse me, as w what to whether we are going to see that be a continued threat yeah. or if the threat and the danger elements and all the adversities are now more just against with, 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 with people, people yeah. versus, you know, because The Walking Dead, they didn't need to do that. They could have been like, okay, but they kept it going and it always there was always a sense of you're never really safe, safe yeah. you know oh this is uh, this hbo nailed it at no. least for episode one and we all have to sit and wait a week a week to uh, watch this the episode. is gonna be no vision i tell you we've we've <laughs> had the you know we, we've had the luxury on this channel of burning through some series yeah. potter uh lord of the rings for me the hunger games, games you know where we're, we're cranking through these uh, the, these airbender episodes and we've had the luxury of being able to go one after the next after the next and not have to wait. Um, now there are some shows that we ha did have to wait on, but man, now, now it's not, like, not like I, gotta, I gotta wait every week for this. Like, oh, uh, God. only eight, eight, eight left. <clears throat> yeah, there's nine total. Is that nine total? Okay. okay. All right, guys. Well, for the Appleton Oak Woo! Diamond, Dave Demone, oh, I'm Mason. Fantastic. Quinn. Open. This has been the Last of Us. We're Bad Medicine, and we're gonna see you back in a week. <laughs>